So we got home from work today and went to feed the pigs and today has immediately turned into a very interesting day. Um, Tonkotsu, the black pig, he's not eating, which is uh, definitely concerning. Pigs are pretty hardy animals and when they get sick, they tend to get very sick. But having said that, they're very similar to humans in that they might just get like a, a bit of a jippy tummy and we've seen plenty of um, footage of other people's pigs um, getting getting ill and then a day later just bouncing back and being sweet. So we're in a bit of a uh, gray zone right now. I've had a chat with the vet and they've given me some advice um, as what to look for, particularly like parasites and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna give Tonkotsu a little bit of an inspection and just see if he's got any ticks on him or anything like that. And then um, I'll be getting up at the crack of dawn tomorrow to check on him, see if he'll eat. And if he doesn't, then We've got a sick pig on our hands, and that is not ideal. All right, well, um, I didn't find any ticks, but Tonkotsu does seem to have lice again, but Katlietka doesn't. So that's interesting. But I'm probably gonna just put some diatomaceous earth on them, just to sort that out. Hey guys, it is the next day and good news, uh, Tonkotsu, our pig, is eating. He ate his breakfast this morning, which is super relieving. I did confirm that Tonkotsu has lice on him. Because he's eating this morning, I think it's just been more of an irritation thing, like he was obviously quite itchy. Um, we've been talking to a lot of people, doing a lot of research and learning a lot about what's been going on. Apparently after like a week worth of rain and weather, lice are super common in this area. Makes sense because that is how um, they got the last battle lice as well. It was after a lot of rain came through and everything was very wet. Last night I already took action, um, doused them in diatomaceous earth. Today we went and got a whole bunch of um, things to boost their immune systems as far as their diet goes. Like we got some um, kelp, molasses, and we'll be, uh, Dosing with apple cider vinegar, which we normally do anyway. We're gonna move them a bit sooner this time. We only moved them on Thursday. We're moving them on Sunday, so it's only a couple of days. But because we're moving them tomorrow, I'm gonna to go down there and dump some water on the ground, give them a wallow, and that'll give them a nice, nice warm weather. So it'll allow them to cool down, but it'll also um, hopefully give them uh, a bit of reprieve from that itching. Here goes. Pig, pig. Nice. Give yourself some water. There you go, Tonkotsu. Just drinking it. Oh, you're drinking it. Spot down there, he just wants that one. Oh, he's so cute. Build yeah. up. They're in heaven, pig heaven right now. Didn't you come up here with that dirty snot? <laughs> ah. Yucky. Good to see you feeling better though. After we had a pig skip a meal, we kind of freaked out, talked to a lot of people. Turns out um, it's perfect conditions for lice right now. So that's something that we're going to take into account moving forward. We're going to move them more frequently. We're going to keep uh, dosing them with diatomaceous earth because it's really important to us that we don't use insecticide, which is what people started recommending to us. And we're just willing to put the work in to kick this without that. So wish us luck. Mm. Pig, pig, pig. Wait, 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 Tom Cotts? Cut the other guy! Hup, hup, hup! 